Hello guys, it's Charla. I'm going to give a little book tease today of some of the books I told you about. These all are from the same um, publisher of, and they're all the Welcome to the Museum series. So I'm going to start off with, um, <laughs> let's see, let's start off with Dinosaurium. I got this one because my grandson, hang on, I'm going to put these out of the way just a second. My grandson loves dinosaurs and I don't know hardly anything about them. So I'm gonna have fun learning with him. And that was the same way, you know, for teachers in the classroom. A lot of times we're learning with our students because, you know, in this world, it's just impossible to know everything, especially in the area of science anymore. So the fun thing about um, these books is it is all, um, angled toward like it's you're gonna go into a museum so that's what makes the book special to me is the little s extra special touches that they do with it like you've got your little um, ticket it says welcome to the museum <laughs> you see it and um, you know for a museum someone that is responsible for the collections in a museum is called a curator so <clears throat> instead of saying you know, written by or illustrated by, it's saying, uh, let me show it's showing curated by. So this one is curated by Chris Wormell and Lily Murray. Okay, so show you the book real quick. Just a little book tease. Um, Enter Dinosaurium and discover these incredible, terrifying, ingenious creatures brought back from the mist of time. Welcome. This museum is yours to treasure. <laughs> Here's the entrance. Isn't it cool? It's kind of just fun. Whenever um, I start doing some lessons and I pull any of these that I show you today um, and use them in a lesson, then I will link them to, to below. And also, um, I'll link each book below as well. All of the pages in, in all the books are good quality and that may not matter to some people, but I, I like to feel and they have made it intentionally feel like um, kind of a vintage, like a museum would be old, you know? So it kind of has a vintage uh, look to it. And the paper is thick, like a museum quality, you would think, you know? So it's just well done. They've gone above and beyond, I think, to make it a special book. All right, so it takes you through the different eras there's the Jurassic period. So I look forward to learning more about dinosaurs. And then, you know, as you're learning about different eras or different types of, different types of dinosaurs, and that may lead you to, because you read this book, <laughs> it's like if you give a mouse a cookie, then, you know, it's got to have a glass of milk. If you read this book, most likely you're going to do some kind of fossil dig or some other activity or more books. Um, to learn more about each thing a little more in depth. So, pretty cool book. I love having it as a resource. The reason why some books I think are worth buying, well, when you love books is because not all, all the time does the libraries carry the nicer books. Some nicer books like this, I don't know if uh, our local one does or not, but also, I get uh, library fines because I have a hard time taking books back, not because, 
you know, I'm stupid or anything. It's just I have a hard time wanting to let them go. So I just might as well just buy the books. <laughs> I love having the books on hand and I like sharing, you know, too. So with kids that come and I enjoy looking at books with my grandson. Okay, so Botanicum is, um, should I say the, they have different types of, um, like one is, might be a foil title, but they're just well done. This one's curated by Cody, Katie Scott and Kathy Willis. So if you were studying botany, of course, this would be a great addition. All of the, um, the illustrations are really beautiful in the book, in the, all the books, I think. So you've got algae. on the lichens. I hope these are coming through clear so you can see them good. And I'm not going to go through the whole book, just kind of a book tea so that you <laughs> see if you want to buy it for your own resources. I know a lot of people are thinking about homeschooling this year, so I'm hoping to be a resource for educators and um, parents and self learners as well so you can kind of get a, an idea about the book okay. there's lots more okay moving on the next one is Ana anaticum Anatic anaticum I have a hard time saying this one <laughs> this one um, is curated by Katie Weedman and Jennifer Z Paxson I hope that I said that right this one, of course, is going to touch on a little bit of all the anatomy of the body. So you've got your different systems. So well done. Um, <laughs> just, I love to feel the paper. I will say, in a uh, heads up about this book, depending, just uh, depending upon the age of your child or your students the back of the book does touch on the rep, uh, reproductive systems and it's pretty graphic pictures so if you're kind of worried about you know that then you know you may want to keep it fifth grade and up I would say okay great great job on this book as well so what makes your body tick <laughs> pretty 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 this one is very beautiful to look at. I don't know if you can see how pretty it is. If pictures or videos sometimes don't do books justice. I like the, the foil lettering. <laughs> okay, so this one's curated by Chris Wormel and Raman Prinja. I got this one dirty. <laughs> Gorgeous cover. Starting just 62 miles or 100 kilometers above our planet, space is an airless, soundless vacuum stretching further than we can possibly imagine. It has fascinated humans since our earliest days, but we are only just beginning to unravel its mysteries. A great voyage of discovery lies ahead of us, and that voyage begins here in this museum. Enter its pages to step beyond the surface of our planet and begin an interstellar journey like no other. <laughs> this is the only museum to hold its whole stars, to hold whole stars, vast galaxies, and mysterious dark matter within its collection. So enter Planetarium here to begin your voyage of discovery and uncover the many and marvelous wonders of the universe. Some of these pictures are beautiful as well. I am so drawn to spirals. I think, you know, I like, I've studied their symbols, the symbolism and how they're used. I'm so drawn, very drawn to them. 
the other pictures and these, but it's beautiful, just like the others. A little book tease. You may want it for your own collection. <laughs> just wondering if my lighting is good so you can see how beautiful it is. When I end up getting the activity book with it. It's uh, Animalium. So we'll look at the book first. But I mentioned this in the last video I did. If I were going to be, um, you know, I would use this because it gives like an overview of all the groups of animals. And um, this one is also done by Katie Scott and Jen Jenny Broom. <laughs> I really like it. I like books with good illustrations. If I said it enough. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. It's packed full of great information. Um, like I said, it, it covers all the animal groups and um, touches on them, you know, a little. And then if you were going to be studying about invertebrates, of course, you could use this as a resource and then pull in other books to create lessons on just invertebrates or mammals or amphibians and such. But it's so great to have in addition to these studies. The Animalium Activity Book is cute. Uh, my first impression was that I wouldn't waste my money, but I actually ended up ordering two on accident. But like for a classroom, you would have to make, you know, copies to have everybody to have enough. And some of them are colored pages and most schools are just black and white copiers. But um, I think it's more just fun, you know, I. I don't know that it's would be necessarily educational, but um, I don't know if I'd waste my money is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but it depends upon who you're buying it for. So you know, if it's a gift, and you know, and it depends on the age of the child too. Okay, so that's um, these, and then I got in my last, my newest one today, and I took it out, looked at it, and then I stuck it back in. Here, so you could get to see the unveiling of it, <laughs> unboxing of it. Ding. The story of life evolution, curated by Katie Scott. Now, you can uh, look at the size differences here. See, I don't know why they made this one so much smaller than the others. It's odd, but I don't know which book came first or what. But it. I'm thinking it doesn't really take away from how beautiful that uh, the book is. I mean, it's still the same quality of pages, and, you know, it's just on a smaller scale. But they're all beautiful, even, it's, even when it's little like this. Now, I'm, in, I'm really interested in reading this. I've been studying a lot about geology, you know, and then, of course, that would... Even when you're studying about geology, then you're going to get into fossil records and then the story of evolution and the dinosaurs. So it all just kind of like, when you read this book, it makes me want to read more about it. <laughs> and now about another book. And do the different type of activities or go to this visit a real museum. I mean, to me, when I read a book, it just always seems to like lend itself to something, something else, something new. So my intentions with this, with my book videos are just to do a little book tease and then um, also to use to create lessons for um, homeschooling homeschoolers or to use them to teach my own lessons. Um, and um, <laughs> so whenever I do do a lesson, I will try to link it with any of these books that I've used to actually use them and um, with a lesson to show you how I would use them. Um, I'm going to start a blog to curate all these things into and a YouTube channel. And then I also will set up an affiliate affiliate link uh, that matches, that links with when I, um, below 
the video, you will see a list of all the books. And so if you click on my link and you end up whatever you buy through my affiliate link, then I will probably get a, you know, a little small affiliate commission off of those sales. So I'm trying to learn about um, monetizing YouTube and affiliate links and things like that. But that way it doesn't, you know, maybe I can teach and it not cost a parent if they're homeschooling or a teacher uh, that's needing additional resources. It won't cost them anything other than uh, supporting me perhaps by clicking subscribe and they like my links and uh, clicking on the affiliate links every now and then if you're interested. So that would help me out and then that helps me to make more videos. Okay, so and I'll let you know how the whole monetizing YouTube thing goes too. <laughs> I'm all about having fun and education and I love uh, books. I also love being a grandma and I love doing things with my grandson. So the things that I'll share with you will probably range, you know, from things that I can do with my, he's, he'll be three in December with my um, grandson and then all the way through like adults. I, I have a mission to uh, actually read a lot of the classics this year. And so even though I've watched Pride and Prejudice a million times, well, I started reading the book last night. And so, um, like, I'm just, maybe it sounds like I'm all over the place, but my next video, I'm going to just do a little book tease on Pride and Prejudice. Okay? All right. See you then. Bye-bye.